ladies and gentlemen, this is a class of 2022 dental hygiene. Welcome to the 2022 Gulf Coast State College Dental Hygiene Pinning Ceremony. My name is Miranda Stewart and I am the coordinator of the Dental Hygiene Program. I'm deeply honored to share this very special occasion with you, an occasion we have all been looking forward to and dreaming of over the last month. I can tell you from a personal experience that graduating from dental hygiene school is one of the best um, experiences of my life and it really allowed me to go into a path of um, where I'm at today and be able to treat patients and have a rewarding career um, and then eventually get into education. Um, this year is especially special for this group because they have overcome so many different obstacles in order to get here today and so we're very happy to have um, this great celebration and enjoy this wonderful moment together. I think I can speak for the entire faculty and staff by saying that this is one of our favorite times of year not only um, because of graduation and the pinning ceremonies, but we get to share in many of the life transitions that are taking place. So our second year students are celebrating their transition from their academic journey to their prof professional careers. Our first year students are matriculating into their final year of dental hygiene education. And soon we will have an entire new group of students that will start in the fall. This is a very special day for these, this spe specific group because it marks uh, the culmination of two years of intense clinical and academic training, um, which just by itself is very difficult. So our program has 88 credit hours, which I think Ms. Justice might could correct me, but I believe that's the most amount of credit hours in any of the other Associates of Science degrees here on, at Gulf Coast. Um, so the fact that they have made it here in the middle of a global pandemic on time is a testament to their hard work and dedication. Before we move on, um, I would like to invite Ms. Becca Griffin up to the podium to offer the invocation. All right, if you'll bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day and we thank you for all the friends, family, and loved ones who have gathered here to celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates. As we work in our profession, please guide our hands, our hearts, and the words we say. Strengthen our character so that we may not be afraid to display the courage of our convictions. Give us energy, endurance, and endurance as we do the jobs that you have given us. Give us effective, thorough, but gentle touch to our patients. May we find favor in the eyes of our patients, coworkers, and employers. Open our hearts to accept all people we meet with an equal attitude of caring and concern. Father, also motivate us to brighten our patients' day. Touch our spirits so that those who come to us in need may have happier and healthier, may leave happier and healthier for having been in our care. Above all, let us keep in mind what is truly important. Our faith, our families, our patients, and our country. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs> Thank you, Becca. We are very fortunate to have a solid team of professionals dedicated um, to sharing their career and their knowledge expertise with these students. There's no job more rewarding. Tonight, we recognize the faculty, staff, and distinguished guests who have been instrumental in the success of these graduates. First, we would like to recognize our outstanding college leaders who have been so supportive of our efforts, enabling Gulf Coast State College to offer a variety of high quality academic programs such as this one. I really can't say enough of, about these individuals as they have gone above and beyond this year 
Um, as we mentioned before, with the, during the pandemic, they've always made sure that we had the resources in order to operate safely and effectively. Um, so at this time, I would like to recognize our college leaders. Um, please stand and wave so you can be recognized. Um, our first administrator is Ms. Laura Justice, the chair of the Health Sciences Division. And um, Dr. Holly Keener, I don't think she's here. So we have four or five different pinning ceremonies, so we're kind of spread out, and they're all going on simultaneously. So Dr. Holler, Holly Keener is our Vice President of Academic Affairs, and then um, Dr. John Holdnack is the President of Gulf Coast State College, and I believe he's attending one of the other pinning ceremonies too. But we would like to thank them for their leadership, um, and again, all the resources that have allowed us to operate safely and effectively during this time. Now I would like to introduce our fabulous dental faculty and staff who have worked extremely hard with these students throughout the program. Our faculty, just as many others, have gone through some difficult times, but no matter what's going on in their personal life, through thick and thin, they always keep in mind um, what's best for our students. And one of the biggest things that I can say about our faculty and staff is they're so encouraging, so they always lift them up. They always give them um, just that, those kind words of encouragement and say, yes, you can do that. Um, and so I think that has a tremendous effect on how these students are here today. So at this time, I would like to recognize the dental faculty and staff. There are some um, that are not here, but I'd like to go ahead and recognize them. So we're gonna start off with our staff. The first one is Miss Amanda Hill. She's our senior administrative assistant to the dental programs. Miss Deborah Pringle, she's our dental clinic receptionist. Miss <laughs> Megan Olgan, uh, Olson, dental hygiene faculty. <laughs> Miss Kimberly Oz, <laughs> dental clinic. <laughs> Miss Lori Womble. <laughs> Miss Suzanne Deaton. Miss Alice Bailey. Miss Angela Smith. Miss Ann Reed. Miss Donita Keller. Miss Marie Sanders. Miss Michelle Thayer. And Miss Noelle Ramey, she's not here tonight. I don't think she here. And Dr. Jim Lane, which is our clinic dentist. And Miss Justice also taught this group instrumentation, so she's our division chair. <laughs> so I want to thank each of the faculty and staff for all their commitment and hard work for what they do. Um, you know, it's not easy day in and day out because we really have to push these students and um, and because we have a high, we have a high expectations because we want you to be the be very best you can. Um, so thank you for all of your hard work that you do. In addition to the dedicated Gulf Coast State College faculty and staff, there are numerous local dentists um, and different um, dental professionals that assist us throughout the program. So at this time, we would like to recognize those individuals. Um, so if there's any members of the Dental Programs Advisory Board, both past and present, um, please stand and be recognized. We do have two local dentists that volunteer in our programs, Dr. Joseph Gerlesk and Dr. Ray Morris. I don't know if they're here tonight, but let's give them a round of applause. And is there anyone from Lecom Dental School here? No? Okay. So our students do a rotation through Lecom Dental School, and it's a, it's a great experience for them in their last semester. So let's give them a round of applause. All right, finally, let's recognize those very important family members, friends, and significant others who have been so supportive of the success of these students. If you qualify as a person who has ever given money to, provided a home for, 
babysat for, dog sat for, wiped tears for, been a patient for. You get the idea. Please stand and let's recognize you. Go ahead. That's everyone in this room. You are also to be congratulated for you also share in the success of these students. At this time, it's my um, honor to introduce our keynote speaker, which is our very own Hannah Kraft. As this year's um, president of the Student American Dental Hygiene Association, Hannah would like to bestow a few words of wisdom on the graduating class. All right, good evening, everybody. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to make sure. Where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> Where's Sarah? <laughs> okay, we're all here. <laughs> Welcome friends, family, faculty, and of course all the new CRDHs here tonight. Uh, my name is Hannah. I also go by Savannah. Um, <laughs> and I am so excited to be able to speak with you all today. Um, I'm sure you know that dental hygiene school is no joke. We have spent the last two years eating, sleeping, and breathing hygiene. We have worked so hard for those four letters at the end of our names, and we have come such a long way in doing so. Do y'all remember how we were absolutely panicking while trying to find our rad patients in that first semester? We had no idea. <laughs> uh, we went through multiple quarantines where we had to line up in cars outside the school while our poor instructor, instructors had to put our typodont stands in our trunks. <laughs> we got through what felt like hundreds of tooth drawings and learned a whole new language of dental. Poor Kelly and Brittany had a million cancellations. <laughs> <laughs> Diana almost had a baby in clinic. <laughs> we got to sport space buns and mermaid hair for kids clinic. Thanksgiving dinner, stab lab. Somebody say something about bacon if I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, we have done some borderline desperate and crazy things to find patients and get them to show up, like annoying the community through next door. Uh, Britt found a random dude walking down the, the sidewalk at lunch <laughs> to be her patient. And we all have, at some point, found ourselves drooling over that Calc 3 Perio 3 special needs patients with an FMX <laughs> in that raffle after huddle. <laughs> I'm sure that more than half of you in this room were somehow conned into being a patient. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, Y'all somehow found yourself in our chair for hours on end wondering why you even agreed to this. Some of you saints even came in for two. But for that, I wanted to say thank you all from all of us. Whether we saw you as a patient or kept you for moral support, we wouldn't be here without you. And we are so appreciative for your hand in helping us learn and grow in our profession. Here's to never seeing another post begging you to be our patient, and here's to never writing another one. <laughs> I wanna say a well-deserved thank you for all of our instructors for putting up with us these past few years. They've seen us crying, what we look like after no sleep, and poor Miss Olson had to hear all of it. <laughs> that being said, they have been there to see the pure accomplishment on our faces after realizing that we can give local without passing out. <laughs> they have shared the complete joy and satisfaction with us as we scaled our first Calc 4s. They have pushed us to be the best that we can be, and we have become great clinicians because of them. And for you lovely ladies up front, um, I just wanted to say how absolutely thankful I am to have met each and every one of you. It's such a rare thing to have 16 women come together and to support one, support one another like we have. We said it at the beginning that no one gets left behind, and we have stuck to that. We all made it together, and I've never been more proud. I, would have wanted, I wouldn't have wanted to go through this program with anybody else. I have no doubt in my mind that each one of you will go on to do incredible things. This is our day. And we did it. I love y'all. One last thing. I just hope that we made Mama Olson proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, thank you, Hannah. Okay, so no, now graduates, before we begin the pinning portion, so we do have a little bit of a tradition here um, in the dental programs where we like to share, um, we, we like to modify one of the Dr. Seuss books. So this one's for you guys. I am grad, I am glad, I am sad, glad sad to be a grad. Aren't you proud to be a grad? Are you ready, grad I'm glad? Let's reflect, glad, sad, grad, here today with all your comrades. First your dental hygiene faculty said, be ready to use your head, because I can teach you in a room, and I can teach you now on Zoom. <laughs> I can teach you at my house. I can teach you with the mouse. I can teach you here or there. I can teach you anywhere. Summer dental hygiene faculty said, who knows what's ahead? but I can teach you during a pandemic, and I can teach you in the dental clinic. <laughs> I can teach you with a mouth on a stick. I can teach you how not to prick. I can teach you if you dare. I can teach you because I care. Dental hygiene faculty in year two, students, you've got to keep on pushing through. So back to patient clinic in this pandemic, we want to know, can you get a patient plaque free? Can you scale a patient calc three? Can you hard chart and complete the rad and change your progress notes just a tad? <laughs> <laughs> the dental hygiene class of 2022 replied with a smile because we're in the teeth business. <laughs> I, I can learn in a room. I can learn also on Zoom. I can learn at my house. I can learn with a mouse. I can learn here or there. I can learn anywhere. I can learn during a pandemic, and I can learn in the dental clinic. I can learn with a mouth on a stick. I have learned how not to prick, well, at least most of the time. <laughs> I can get a patient plaque, th plaque free. I can scale a patient calc three. I can complete the hard chart and the rad, and of course, change my progress notes just a tad. <laughs> now both the dental hygiene faculty, yes. <laughs> Now both the dental hygiene faculty and the class of 2022 are wondering, what are we going to do? Because it's all said and done and we are glad. Of course, we will miss the times that we've had, which also makes us a little sad. Glad, sad to be a grad. So go grad with the things that you know and don't forget to always grow. Please accept our small gift, so you had a folder, a Gulf Coast fo folder, and then a little name tag to, to commemorate your transition from dental student to dental professional. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Lori Womble to come to the front as we initiate the pinning ceremony. And family and friends, um, we do have this middle aisle um, so I know that they're live streaming in the back, but if you would like to come up um, and get a photograph of, um, you're welcome to do that. And um, so you can feel free to come on up front. So Ms. Womble. about to make sure I had my glasses or else I was going to cancel the whole thing. <laughs> I'm done. I can't do it. <laughs> so I would just like to echo everything that's already been said and to congratulate each and every one of you for being here. Um, unlike the other faculty members, I am not a dental hygiene faculty, but I think I've substituted a couple times and I always see y'all and wave and say, stay strong, you can make it. Um, what you've gone through does not go unnoticed. A couple of you have been through assisting, so y'all have had a double whammy of quite a few years <laughs> being here. So congratulations to all of you. This is my favorite part because this is the part that everybody wants to see is these um, ladies get their final pin, the final day, the final moment. So I'm gonna start with Miss Dixie Alford. 
Dixie is from Panama City Beach, Florida. She is the mother of an awesome daughter, Capri. Where's Dixie's family and daughter? <gasps> Dixie would like to thank Capri, Joe, and her amazing family for their continued understanding and support. She'd also like to thank her friends, all who came in to be her patients and help her not to lose her mind, which is questionable sometimes. <laughs> She'd also like to thank her classmates, her teachers, for pushing her and supporting her through the stressful times of doubt. And Dixie's future plans are to work toward a bachelor's degree and continue on to dental school. <laughs> Next we have Diana Bacallo. Thank you. You only knew how much I had to practice that. <laughs> Diana is from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. She enjoys yoga, days at the beach, and get togethers with her family. She believes in the power of positivity and has a positive outlook no matter what. She has a genuine love for people and strives to make a difference in their lives through her work as a dental professional. She has three children, Mia, Danny, and Gianna, where are they? Where's family? Wave, wave. Her grandmother Melba, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a line. Um, who she wants to dedicate her success tonight to her children. She'd also like to thank all of her children, Mia, Danny, and Gianna, for being the light of her life and the fuel that pushes her through any obstacle. Her grandmother, Melba Gillen, for all of her hard work, the sacrifices she has made so her, her grandchildren would have the opportunities of today, and for all the lessons that she has taught and the example that she has set for her entire life. She wouldn't be who she is today without her grandmother. Also, Diana would like to thank her family and loved ones who always stepped in to help her along at a moment's notice during the program. She says you are irreplaceable and she is lucky to have you in her life. Lastly, she would like to thank God for carrying her through each day while only requiring faith. Presently, she plans to work as a dental hygienist in a private office between Miramar Beach and 30A. In the future, she hopes to do philanthropic work with local missions and organizations for undeserved populations in America and out of the country. Congratulations. <laughs> Hannah Kraft. <laughs> Hannah is from Dalton, Georgia. She is married with a fur baby, Capo. <laughs> she would first like to thank her husband, James. Where's James? James is in Korea, isn't he? He's watching. FaceTime. We wish you were here. Thank you for your service. She would like to thank her husband, James, who is watching from Korea today for supporting and encouraging her throughout this program. She would also like to thank her family for always pushing her to do her best and being awesome patients when she needed them last minute. Shout out to Hunter, Abby, Riley, and Russ. And lastly, she would like to thank her classmates who were there through it all. Hannah plans to seek employment as a dental hygienist here in Panama City. Congratulations. <laughs> Paige Daniel. <laughs> Paige is from Hope Sound, Florida. She would first like to thank her family for all the long hours they drove to be her patient and for all their encouragement. Where's Paige's family? Wait. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> she would also like to thank her wonderful instructors for all of the guidance they gave. Lastly, she would like to thank her classmates for being so supportive and the greatest friends through it all. Paige will be moving to the Tampa area to begin her career as a dental hygienist. <laughs> K.C. Davis.
Casey is from Panama City, Florida. She would like to thank her parents for the love and support and most importantly, feeding her dinner almost every night for the past two years. Where's her parents? We wanna to come to your house for dinner. <laughs> Next, she would like to thank her husband, Caleb, for being by her side through the highs and lows and putting up with her when she was having very stressful times. <laughs> Lastly, she would also like to thank the rest of her family and friends for encouraging her and being by her side every step of the way. She plans to seek employment as a dental hygienist here in Panama City. <laughs> Brittany Garland. Brittany is from Shalimar, Florida. She's married to Ryan, and they have one beautiful calico cat named Luna. Yes, but is Luna here tonight? <laughs> she would like to thank her family and classmates for all their support during the program. She plans to work either in private practice office or a prison as a dental hygienist. Congratulations. <laughs> Rebecca Griffin. <laughs> Rebecca is from Mariana, Florida. She'd like to thank her brothers Calvin and Carrie for the merciless bullying that made her tough enough to endure this program. <laughs> She'd also like to thank her little sister, Kate, for being faithful and, and the most encouraging best friend. Where's Calvin and Carrie and Kate and family? And et al. She also would like to thank her parents for enduring all the mental breakdowns and agreeing to be her patient on more than one occasion. Becca has been hired by a traveling uh, hygiene agency and will start work this summer. Portsmouth, New Hampshire, here she comes. <laughs> Angel Hupsey. Angel is originally from Yukon, Oklahoma, and now lives in Crestview, Florida. She is married, and she has a 14-year-old daughter and a 19-year-old son and two dogs. Where's family? Where's family? Hello. She would like to thank her husband, Jason, for his encouragement and support throughout the program. She could not have made it at all without you, wherever you're at, Jason. She would not be here tonight. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. She'd also like to thank her mom for always being available to talk to her during the three-hour drive to and from school every day. <laughs> She offered encouragement every day, so that's, that's a pretty big responsibility, too. <laughs> thank you, Mom. <laughs> Lastly, she would like to thank her classmates and friends for being able to always pull together, lean on one another, and help pick up the pieces when needed. School would not have been much more difficult, would have been much more difficult without these wonderful group of ladies. She plans to work toward her bachelor's degree, explore the world of dental hygiene, and see where it takes her. She will always leap on the opportunity to learn something new. Neelam Ben D. Patel. Neelam Ben is from Lynn Haven, Florida. She is a native from Gujarat, India. Thank you, thank you. She, um, she would like to share, as Lord Krishna has said in Gita, a man is made by his belief. As he believes, so he becomes. This quote speaks for every dental hygiene sister who is graduating with dedication and belief. We made it through. A little more about Neelam. She lives with her parents, brother, an amazing granny. She's also married to Mitesh and appreciates her family's support throughout dental hygiene school. She would like to especially thank her family for their encouragement 
love, and endless support. She is blessed to have a family that treats her like a princess and lets her focus on her studies, which of course you are. <laughs> we all are princesses. <laughs> she also appreciates her family members and relatives that came in to be her patients for all the requirements throughout the semester. Special appreciation to her husband, who has always respected and valued her dedication towards studies. Next, she would like to thank all the instructors, including Dr. Lane, for their guidance, support, willingness, and encouraging her to reach her goals. Finally, she would like to express her gratitude to her fellow classmates who has been through the last two years with her, and she was blessed to be a part of the dental hygiene class of 2022. She plans to seek a dental hygiene profession as compassionate and dedicated dental hygienist. Of course, absolutely of course, <laughs> after taking a much needed break <laughs> and a vacation to travel to India to finally see her husband. <laughs> Sarah Rangel. Sarah is from Panama City, Florida. She's also a past graduate, a graduate of dental assisting as well. So she's had a double dose of dental school here at Gulf Coast. She graduated from uh, Gulf Coast State College Dental Assisting Program in 2019, and she really enjoys working in the dental field. She is also blessed to be a mom of wild five-year-old Roman, <laughs> who always keeps her on her toes and keeps life interesting. I think Roman was maybe two when you were in assisting. Where's Roman? <laughs> He's just a little baby. She would like to thank her family for always supporting her and helping her with Roman. She wouldn't have made it through without you all. H Hugo? Hugo. Hugo, sorry. Hugo for giving her the opportunity to be in this program. Classmates for all always being so kind and supportive, and to all of the faculty for guiding her to where she is today. Sarah plans to get her bachelor's degree while working as a dental hygienist and then applying for dental school. <laughs> Congratulations, Sarah. Next we have Savannah Richardson. Savannah is also a past graduate at the dental assisting program. She was one of the hurricane babies. So she's made it through hurricane, pandemic, part one, pandemic, part two. <laughs> <laughs> she's from Panama City, Florida. Savannah would like to thank her family for always being there to support her and encourage her on the good and bad days. Where's family? There we are. Thank you. She would also like to thank her classmates for always giving and helping hand and her friends for always letting her vent about all the stress she has. <laughs> Savannah would also like to thank her Starbucks family for being the majority of her patients and coming in whenever she needed them in a chair. I just wonder if that means they'll give us discount cards now. <laughs> Savannah's future plans is to do um, travel dental hygiene and beginning her adventure in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at the end of the summer to start her new career. <laughs> Congratulations. Maria Rodriguez. <laughs> Maria is from Tampa, Florida. Maria is from a loving family originating in Cuba. She enjoys working out and spending time with her lovely boyfriend, Roberto. Where's Roberto? Is he here? There he is. Hello, Roberto. And her adorable dog named Godo. Okay. <laughs> She, has, she would like to thank her boyfriend, Roberto, for his love, support, encouragement. She is so happy to start a new chapter of her life with him. She wants to thank God for allowing her brother to be here with her. Miguel, esto es por ti. And I think I heard it's been five years since you've seen him. And he's here? Where is he? 
She would also like to thank her family for their support, her mom and dad especially. Maria would like to thank the faculty for always pushing her to be a better student and become an excellent dental hygienist. She is grateful to have amazing classmates. She couldn't have done it without all of you. Her present plans are to seek employment as a dental hygienist and her future plans are to continue education in the field of dental hygiene. Congratulations. <laughs> Kelly Rushing. <laughs> Kelly is from Freeport, Florida. She would like to thank her parents for their support and always believing in her. Where's Kelly's parents? One's right there. One, one's here, one's, there we go. <laughs> She'd also like to thank her family and friends who were willing to sit in the chair for hours and hours and hours and hours on end. <laughs> Her Aunt Linda and Uncle Charles for always being there no matter what. Is Aunt Linda and Uncle Charles here? Uncle yes? Charles died in November. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he is still here with you tonight and very proud. Um, Kelly plans to stay in the area for a while and find a great dental office for employment as a dental hygienist. Congratulations. <laughs> Melinda Trusty. <laughs> Melinda is from <laughs> Melinda is from Panama City Beach, Florida. She chose dental hygiene as a new career later on in life. She would especially like to thank her adult children for being supportive and encouraging her while she pursued this new path. Where's family? Where's there? Okay, okay. <laughs> She'd also like to thank the. <laughs> That's right. Your family's right here. <laughs> she would like to also thank her instructors for the guidance, patience, and the push to persevere. And lastly, Melinda would like to thank her classmates for all the quizlets, <laughs> the study groups, and the never-ending laughter that she used to get through this with some sense of sanity. <laughs> She plans to seek employment as a temporary dental hygienist, either for various dental offices in the Destin-Fort Walton area, or as a traveling hygienist. Congratulations. <laughs> Caitlin Whaley Blackburn. <laughs> Caitlin is my third out of this class. It's also a previous dental assistant graduate as well. She is from Panama City, Florida. She is 25 years old, and she is a full-time dog mom. <laughs> Kaylin would like to thank her family for their endless support and encouragement throughout the whole program, and a special thank you to her mom for always being her number one. Where's mom and family? <laughs> you would like, she would like to thank her instructors for always being there for her in and out of clinic, their patients, their willingness in helping her to become a competent hygienist. And finally, she would like to thank her classmates, who she is so grateful to have had throughout the last two years. It truly would not have been the same without each and every one of you. Caitlin plans to work full time as a registered dental hygienist for a previous employer and eventually go back to school to get her bachelor's in science degree. Congratulations. Madeline Samir Youssef. <laughs> Madeline is originally from Egypt, but she currently lives in Panama City Beach, Florida. She is married and has the most adorable son, Martin, and is currently waiting for her sunshine son, Marvin, to be born in two months. <laughs> Madeline would like to thank her family, especially her husband, Michael, for supporting and helping her all the way. Where's Michael and Marvin and family? <laughs> Hello. Also, a special thanks to her father, who has now passed, but he has always supported her and prayed for her. Lastly, she would like to thank all of the instructors and classmates for always helping her during the program. 
Madeline plans to be a professional licensed dental hygienist. Yay. Congratulations. again congratulate you all and I really did want to acknowledge family and friends because um, what Miss Stewart said and I think Hannah said something about it too honestly every single one of you here tonight have obviously contributed somehow some way minor major in some capacity and to be here every day we see what these students go through I know you hear about it and you see tears and but it, it really is quite challenging and it is a huge success to be sitting here tonight. So I wanted to acknowledge friends and family as well. Best of luck to all you do in your future. We will miss you. We'll always be here. So <laughs> write, send flowers, bring chocolate, come by, <laughs> you know, whatever. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Justice. So we do have some more goodies. Okay, so now I'd like to invite Ms. Alls up for the next few awards. At this time, we will present the Dental Hygiene Program Awards for the Class of 2022. The first award is the Outstanding Dental Hygiene Student. What exactly is outstanding? Defined, outstanding means standing out amongst others of its kind. The recipient of this award certainly stood out in many aspects, her compassion and care for patients, determination, perseverance, and love for the profession have been more than evident. She has always been a team player and her maturity, character, and integrity continues to stand out. These traits were highly regarded by her faculty and will be highly regarded by any future employer. This student was recognized last Friday, April 29th, at the College Administration Honors Convocation. The dental hygiene programs would like to, would like to ask Neelam Patel to come forward to be recognized again <laughs> as the outstanding 2022 dental hygiene student. Congratulations, Neelam. The second award is the Highest Academic Achievement Award. This award is given to the student with the highest academic performance throughout their entire college career. Although all of our students have performed extremely well in a difficult and demanding program, one student has maintained a nearly perfect GPA in all coursework. It is my pleasure to present this year's Highest Academic Achievement Award to Madeline Youssef. <laughs> Congratulations, Madeline. <laughs> Our next program award is the Dental Hygiene All-Around Student Award. The All-Around Student Award is given to the student who has shown leadership in the classroom and in the clinical setting. This is the only award that is voted on by the Class of 2022. This year's All-Around Student Award recipient is Rebecca Griffin. Yeah. Congratulations, Rebecca. As this year's faculty sponsor to the Student American Dental Hygienist Association, also known as SADA, it is my pleasure to present the next award. SADA is the student's voice in our professional organization. Would all the freshmen and sophomores who are members of SADA please stand? These students make up our SADA organization for Gulf Coast State College, and all of our students are active members. Thank you, everyone. You may be seated. 
SADA membership helps our students learn about the importance of being involved in a professional organization and allows the students to work as a team and try out their leadership talents. We're especially proud of this year's group as they collaborated with SADA members from across the state to pass the legislation for the clinical, clinical dental hygiene mannequin examination. Yay. Way to go, SADA. <laughs> now would Hannah Kraft please come forward. <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> Hannah has served as our president for SADA this year. She has worked hard to organize all of our monthly meetings, which include lunch and learn sessions with guest speakers, many times over Zoom. She also oversaw the, the committees and decorating dates for Kids Clinic that provided free dental care to over 50 kids during the month of February. Hannah, please accept this memento of appreciation for your service this year. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Megan Olson up to the podium to announce the recipients of the next award. The next accolade is the Colgate Star Award. The recipient will have their name engraved on the dental program's plaque and will receive a glass trophy. This award is offered to a graduating dental hygiene student who has shown excellence and a commitment to the dental hygiene profession. This year's recipient has demonstrated a true dedication to the profession of dental hygiene through her tireless efforts in working with patients, classmates, faculty, and other community members. One faculty member described her as having a passion for dental hygiene. Her willingness and enthusiasm to participate in community service has truly shown us her dedication to the profession of dental hygiene. It is my pleasure to present the 2022 Colgate Star Award to Savannah Richardson. <laughs> The next award goes to our table clinic winners. This semester, all of our graduates were required to complete a community dental health table clinic presentation. This assignment includes researching a topic, creating an eye-catching poster board, brochure, and performing a presentation to other college students and healthcare professionals. Judges from our dental program and from the community assess the students on their presentation, poster board, brochure, and scientific evidence. Although we had several outstanding table clinics, our first place winners are Diana Bacallo and Maria Rodriguez for their table clinic about electric toothbrushes versus manual toothbrushes. Now the time for the Golden Scaler Award. This award particularly difficult for the faculty to decide because this year we had several deserving students. For a dental hygiene student, the Golden Scaler Award is one of the highest awards a dental hygiene student can receive. In 1979, Hugh Freddy initiated the Golden Scaler Award to honor the outstanding achievements of dental hygiene students. The re redesigned award highlights a 24 karat gold plated Gracie curette that signifies Dr. Clayton Gracie's vision for excellence something in the field we like to call the Golden Touch. This year's recipient not only possesses the Golden Touch, but the drive to do her very best in everything, whether it's in the clinic or in the classroom. Without further ado, it is my honor to announce this year's Golden Scaler winner as Maria Rodriguez. <laughs> join me in congratulating these students on their accomplishments. The students have requested some time for their own presentation. At this time, I would like to turn it over to our graduates. Okay, 
also just a special kudos to Angel who put together this slideshow. So it's a great um, slideshow that just demonstrates their journey throughout the program.
Okay, so I guess we're getting to Angel's closing remarks. So I'd like to invite Angel up for a couple of little closing statements. Thank you. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Public speaking is not my strong suit, so I'd like everyone to pause and just lower their expectations just a little bit. <laughs> okay, thank you. So these last two years have been one of the hardest years of my life. It's been a hard year for me to take on challenges to include unforeseen ch challenges in everyday lives. This journey has created opportunities for new relationships that has evolved into more like a family than just a friendship. We are all so blessed to have had each other to lean on throughout the program. And trust me, we have all had our fair share of heavy leaning. This program was rigorous and challenging, but we succeeded. I'd like to thank our family and our friends for all the support throughout these past two years. We honestly couldn't have done it without you. Literally, because if you didn't spend 12 or more hours in our chair, we wouldn't be graduating today. Again, thank you so much for your contribution to our success. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. All of the encouragement and believing in us when we didn't believe in ourselves got us through every day, which leads us to this day. Also, I would like to take this time to thank our faculty and instructors for dedicating time to teach us the skills to be not just a hygienist, but amazing hygienist. Can you imagine dealing with 16 women with attitudes for two years? <laughs> they definitely deserve recognition for all of their hard work. I especially want to give a big thank you to Miss Olson, who took us under her wing and was mama bird to all of us chicklings. She listened to us complaining, crying, and talking about being a failure. If you know Miss Olson at all, you know she nipped that in the, <laughs> in the butt quickly. She was stern, encouraging, and definitely gave us the tough love we needed. Thank you so much, Miss Olson, and to all our facu faculty, to the dedication to us. <sighs> Life didn't stop because we were in hygiene. It became hectic in all sorts of ways, but we didn't stop. We picked up the pieces and we pushed through, even if those pieces weren't ours to pick up. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Even if <laughs> and for that, we need to say thank you to ourselves for pushing each other and ourselves to make it through this rigorous program. Thank you to all my classmates. You hold such a special heart. Or you hold such a special place in my heart, <laughs> each and every one of you. We will forever be hygiene sisters. So go out there, have the confidence to apply the knowledge and wisdom you gained. You will face predicaments, but in despite of that, don't forget to hold on to your character. That is very crucial. That will be your reflection for tomorrow on how you will be strong, and you'll build a strong foundation in your family, peers, community, and most important, yourself. Congratulations, 2022 Dental Hygiene graduates. We did it. Thank you. I just want to congratulate each one of you and let you all know that it's been a pleasure working with you for the past two years. And yes, you have made Mama Olson proud, okay? Um, please keep in touch, okay? Look where we're at. <laughs> That's right. Now, graduates, please stand and turn to face our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, on honored guests, family and friends, on behalf of the Gulf Coast State College Dental Hygiene faculty and staff, I present to you the Dental Hygiene Class of 2022. Let's show them how proud we are of them. Thank you for celebrating with us. Feel free to join us from some light refreshments in the hall. Enjoy your evening and good night.